Well, there's all to succeed, so please go onto the website bbc.co.uk slash Nolan, get in there, give us your weight. We're going to start publishing your surnames from now on as well, by the way, with your permission, and we'll do it. Now, let's move on. Get ready for this one. Is Northern Ireland ready to become a band of devil worshipping rockers? Agar Cocky claim they use their music to worship Satan and communicate his word. Now, is Northern Ireland really ready for this? They're on their way to Belfast this weekend and they join us now live from Nottingham uh, where they've been performing tonight. Also in the studio, Aaron Boyd from Youth for Christ and the Christian missionary Brian Iceworth. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's David and Jason from Agricocky. Uh, you want to summon the Antichrist to Belfast then, David, do you? Yes. Yes, we've got lots of enthusiastic fans in Ireland and uh, yeah, and we've played before in Belfast and we had a great time. All the kids were very generous and very enthusiastic and we had a great time. What, what, what's we're looking great? forward to coming back to the Emerald Isle. Yeah, what, what's great about the Antichrist? What's what, sorry? What's great about the Antichrist? What's great about him? That's a bit of an abstract question. Isn't yeah, it? that's that's not very direct, is it? That's... <laughs> no, guys, I, I don't know if you want to take the piss tonight, but if you do, there's no problem. We can talk about other things. You're uh, you're, you're you're coming to Northern Ireland. Uh, you know, you're you're, you're talking yep. about uh, the rape of the bastard Nazarene. You are saying this? This is going to offend an awful lot of people in Northern Ireland, and I want to know uh, why you think you're welcome here why we think we're welcome because I, we've I, been invited uh, we, 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 we've been invited and uh and, and the fans will make us very welcome i'm sure of that we've played before and we had a fantastic time we played in cork in dublin and belfast and the fans were fantastic we had a great time you, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I understand over and yeah. taking the, 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 the heavy metal fans of, of ireland we salute you yeah I, un I, I understand that you reckon you'll you've had a fantastic time but do you care about the christian community here who might be offended by what you're about to do? Well, we certainly don't seek to offend. We never have sought to offend. We wouldn't want the Christian people of Ireland to come and watch us because they wouldn't have a good time. Brian Iceworth. <laughs> But we do believe so in freedom much, of speech, you know, and you're as entitled to your opinions as uh, we're Sorry, entitled to ours. it's my turn to talk, thanks. Um, but the, the language is so disgusting, and so depraved, and so sick, and so deranged, that, music that, whatsoever. That, that sounds Virgin, like a succinct you know, sentence. Lying that would there probably, with, uh, with, probably with do With blood it. all over and everything else, they're talking about the mother of Christ. And uh, no, um, Northern Ireland doesn't need this. Nobody needs this. Uh, the United Kingdom doesn't need this, you know? So, People might say it's, it's freedom of speech, but there has to be bounds on freedom of speech. This is truly offensive. It is the yeah, equivalent isn't that censorship, of... Isn't it? That's censorship. And cen censorship uh, on uh, any language is completely disgusting. Let me, let me disgusting. hear from them, Brian. Sorry. Sorry. Completely disgusting. Say Sorry. that again. We missed it. Censorship on any level is completely disgusting. No. Is it, Stephen, I can't go onto an airplane and cry it's, it's bomb. Of fascism, no, I can't quite incite frankly. racial hatred. I, I can't talk to minors about sex or huh? something like that. What? God forbid. You know, they're so in a somebody society just say that has to be bound. Let me, let me speak to this gentleman here at the front of the audience, what, sir. What we, we can say and what we don't. I, 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 sir, I just saying about freedom of speech and stuff like. Uh, it is, but it isn't certainly a, I th a I communist think you've, uh, state. I've actually a made a tremendous amount of I mean, assumptions. Of Banger and Banger, and, uh, there is a very big, maybe you strong need to do your Christian a influence there. You, uh, and outside a, a shop in Main Street, uh, Friday, Saturday nights, Christians are always there. Blah 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 blah. I've I've got my beliefs in various things, and I've asked them, how about my point of view? Where do you come from this? I know they say nothing. Didn't have a comeback for me. Got I got moved on by the police. Then you can't say that here, not yeah, down here. Ce ce celebrating Satan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, everybody celebrates God and Christ and Buddha. Okay, and can, I, can, I just, can I just throw out that I, I actually think this is not just an issue of the church versus Satanism. The, to me, this is Satanism as a whole, if you align yourself with the ideology, promotes certain things. And Stephen, I actually have here the 11 rules of sa the, sa the Satanic rules on earth. 
just chuck a few of them out. When walking in open territory, bother no one. If he bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not, destroy him. This is by the guy who wrote the Satanic Bible, okay? Um, Satan represents kindness Anton to those Levay. who deserve Anton it Levay, instead of doctor. love wasted on ingrates, okay? So what I want to say is that I, this isn't to do with the church versus Satanism. This is to do with Northern Ireland people. This is to do with the, the Battered Wives Institute yeah, versus but, but, Satanism. But, 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 this but, is to do but, with what? an ideology that promotes... Well, hold on, man. This is not to do it, with Battered Wives, No, is it? it is, you because see, it, it affects, is, it affects made an all assumption aspects there. of society. Let, let, let him talk to you. Go ahead. Yeah, you want to talk to us? A tragic ahead. one, frankly. Yeah. What would you like to say? Well, you know, firstly, you've made the assumption that we, uh, we have to uh, blindly follow the teachings of Dr. Anton zandor Um And I think that... Um, that says enough for it. Organised Satanism is, is it's, just... It's as bad as any yeah. other mon monistic religion. So what, what, is, what is actually, what do you teach? What is your message? We, we don't support what that. What is the message we support that you individualism, promote through freedom your music, of speech. through your band? We what are is the, honest, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens of England. Yeah, we but are what's your message? We what do you say? What do you say to young women people? Okay, okay, let let me get, don't have a right we, to offend people. Let me get the people. Let me get Joanne and Armand here. Joanne, good evening to you. Joanne, good evening. 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 Good the devil has done enough of his work and is doing enough of his work. Um, you know, um, to be honest, you look evil looking. Thank you, thank you Joanne. St straight the back, guy in the red shirt, sir. Us kind of crop needs to be kept inside hell, like Norman brought the Northern Ireland. If us kind of crop are yeah. on about they just pray, go to heaven. Tony and John Patrick on, the, on line four. Tony, good evening to you. Good evening, good evening. Stephen. Go on, Tony. Stephen, I've seen this band in Belfast and I welcome them with open arms. And this, the two Muppets that sit in front of you, they are absolutely, ah, the same as the Sunday I, I'm, I'm not a Muppet whatsoever. I mean, we, we have so many influences, Stephen, which are, are wrecking the minds of our young people in Northern Ireland. This is no. a new day for Northern Ireland. No. Great <laughs> things are happening in this country, and we don't need people yeah, coming in bringing never, such rubbish, of young people, such absolute with depravity. Heavy metal. With heavy metal, and, and yes. I find it offensive, but wrecking the minds it be of young people to with heavy metal. That they can spout Why not? out this nonsense, yeah. you know, and talk about Good the Lord. bastard Christ and things like that. That, that <laughs> is uncalled for. Do you think about the most? You know, if I was saying that about the Hindu religion, Worshipping the, uh, heavy metal fans there are, uh, you know, is in Ireland. Something and we love. If I was talking salute them, like that toward any other Here's religion, I would be held account for it. And yet these people are allowed to go heavy down metal. there and say what they like, you know, about Christians. So, I, I mean, I want to say Christ. Okay, they they're promoting bring on the Antichrist. I am talking about Christ Himself. Christ, <laughs> you know, brings love and joy and peace and light and goodness. Why are you laughing at him? Sorry, you know? Agu Cookie. Why are you laughing at this man? Do you not respect them? What, why are we laughing? Yeah. But, uh, well, you know, quite, quite frankly, we've, we've, we've never, ever sought to be anti-Christian in any sense. And if you've That's done your research and your read, lyrics you know, prove otherwise. former interviews from the past 10 years of our career, you would realise that we are absolutely not anti-Christian. Okay. Well, we, right. we simply we when you come. That dis that dis despite, okay. despite the failings of the dogma that okay. you follow, yeah, I want to. I want to speak the to Christian you Christian faith has also say, brought some great art into the world. I want to say we, that you very can quickly, have very quickly, very you, quickly. I, I just want to tell you that one morning when you wake up and you find yourself lying in your own vomit, okay? I want you to remember me and invite the Lord vomit. Jesus Christ I, into I've your heart, so have you done and He that? will cleanse you from lying the filth that you're walking are you in. Okay? God right. loves you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're going to we're going to return we're going to return to this in a second if we can get time. I want to bring you the text result just as we're wrapping up the program tonight. Uh, before we go, point. earlier on we asked you should the hooded gunman game be banned? You've been texting us all night. Let's just have a, little, the, a look at the result with each other. We'll see oh, it on the screen here. There it is. 51% of you saying yes, it should be banned. 49% of you uh, saying no, that's neck and neck. Thank you for texting. Let's come back. There's a guy right at the very back here. Right at the very back, <laughs> sir. Yeah, I just want to say if you know, if you want to listen to the band, by all means do. You know, there's nothing stopping you. But if you don't want to listen to the band, just turn away because I mean. Look, religions are going to fly in the face of what you, what you believe. Uh, Judaism flies in the face of Christianity. Uh, the Muslim beliefs fly in the face of Christianity. Just, if you want to hear it, turn away. These people are trying to put on a show that people want to hear. So, I bow the line? Come here. Where's the line? Where do you draw the line between what is good for society and what is not? You, you, you sir, so a society are not one without to tell me.